Today you've joined me on the banks of Alders Lake at the Oaks Lakes near Sesay and I'm going to have hopefully a very enjoyable but very simple day's fishing where I'm going to be targeting the lake the hide stocks. Now this lake's full of hide, not just hide, there's all sorts in here, there's calf, there's F1, tench, barbel, chub, you name it and it's in here pretty much. And I couldn't have a more simple approach. And I just want to show how easy it is to go out and enjoy your day's fishing without... Oh, I had a bite then, I've not even fed anything. I just want to go and show you how easy it is to have a good day's fishing, catch plenty of fish without too much hassle and without the need for mountains and mountains of gear tackle, gear set up and loads and loads of bait. Great way to just enjoy yourself after maybe a hard week at work. Go out on the bank and put some fish in the net. Now, like I said, I'm targeting hide today. And that bite first chuck in on the drop without feeding. Must have been a full storm because it never went straight back under. But I'm targeting the lake's hide today as well as anything else that's going to come along. And to do that, all I need is a couple of pints of maggots. I've literally got two pints of maggots and I've got two pole rigs set up. And all I'm going to be doing, I've picked one line, nice comfortable distance, I'm sort of just coming onto my 13 metre section. And I'm going to loose feed a few maggots with a catapult, not loads, 12, 15, maybe 20 at a time. Round that, oh there's a bite. And that's a lovely start, look. Looks like a nice little eye, straight away. I'm just going to keep loose feeding them maggots round my float, nice and regular. And to start with, oh it might actually be a roach, that. Let's just have a look what he is. And it is, yeah, beautiful little roach, so nice fish to start, probably four ounces or so. And hopefully them slightly bigger eyed will move in, bully them type of fish out the way. But nice simple approach, like I was just saying, I'm going to loose feed them few maggots. And to start with, I've got a really simple 0.2 of a gram float with strung out number 11 shot. And what that means is when I'm loose feeding my maggots with a catapult, I can try and mimic exactly what's going on. So I'm regularly feeding bait, keeping bait falling through the water. And these fish that I'm fishing for are the type of fish that love to come off the bottom and intercept loose feed. So same again, obviously I've caught one straight away. I'm just gonna go lay my rig out, let them shot settle my float, keep an eye on it as it settles, and loose feed a few maggots over the top. And a day's fishing like this, really, really easy. I'm gonna get loads of bites. And like I said before, it's not always about having mountains of tackle and bait with you, but sometimes just about enjoying your day. So I'll keep up with this approach, just keep loose feeding a few maggots. I'm going to work my rig. So if I haven't had a bite, I'll maybe give it 30 seconds. Nothing's happened. I can just lift it out. Halfway, drop it back in. Oh, and you see that, if you've seen that on the camera, as soon as it was settling, a fish had a go at it. And that's them fish coming to the loose feed. So I know my maggots are being at. There's another one. That felt like a small fish. I know my bait's being at. means I can keep on feeding. So again, just loose feed a few maggots near my float. Another bite on the drop. And this time I hit it. And as you can see, I'm going to have a really busy and really enjoyable day. Or not a day, to be honest. I'll probably just stop a couple of hours. Try and put a few fish in there. This time it's a small hide. The beauty of this type of approach, when you just want to enjoy your day, you're not bothered about winning a match or, or trying to catch loads and loads of fish, you just want to put something in the net. The beauty of this type of approach is you could catch absolutely anything. Like I was just saying earlier, there's pretty much everything in this lake. There's a few barbel, there's some chub, loads of carp and F1s. Hopefully I might catch one of them at some point. If not, I'll catch them hide. Some roach, whatever I might catch but I'm not limiting myself. If I was fishing with baits like pellets, all I'm going to catch are them bigger carp and F1s, maybe a few hide and them type of fish by accident. By targeting fish with maggots and fishing through the water with a strung out rig, could catch anything. Now, you can see that on the drop again straight away. And what I was going to say, obviously I mentioned I set two rigs up. First one's this nice strung out rig. That's showing me exactly where the fish are in my peg. As my bait's fallen, the fish have obviously started intercepting it already on the way down. That's just a little hide again. There's some big hide in here up to two pound. That's just a little one. Lovely fish. Tom at this venue keeps 
these silverfish type lakes where they do have some silverfish matches in winter keeps them really well stocked with those hide and silverfish keeps plenty of bites for everyone but like i was saying about my rig it's shown me exactly where the fish are and as that floats settling i can see the fish intercepting my bait on the drop that second rig that i said i'd set up is actually a shallow rig and any time of the year that shallow rig can be deadly at this time of the year in particular when it's getting a bit cooler but the sun's out it's a beautiful day today the fish can really want to come off the bottom and to be honest with how it is already i don't think it'll be long before i'm on that rig well that simple approach telling me where the fish are in my pegs is just going to lead to me having a great day's fishing and again still dead simply you see well, straight away small fish that time but just fire a few maggots in it really doesn't get any easier now while i'm doing it with a pole just check my hook bait it's not damaged that fish fell off while i'm doing it with a pole you can do exactly the same thing with a waggler as well if you're not the type of angler who wants to go out pole fishing nice light waggler set up maybe a few number nines number tens down the line loose feed your bait cast in nice and regularly keep that bait falling through the water you can do exactly exactly the same sort of thing so again loose feed a few maggots around it and you can see i'm no signs actually that time but i'm getting lots of indications so again i'm going to work my rig lift it out drop it back in i think sometimes especially when you spend a lot of your time match fishing like i do you can forget you can actually just go out and really enjoy your days fishing oh a little sign then catch some fish just put some fish in the net just like we used to do before we went match fishing and this is the perfect type of venue and the perfect approach for it oh another miss bite and you can see already they look like line there's funny movements on the floor might need to pick that shallow rig up soon the other thing about this type of approach it's really nice to be able to do it with nice light tackle so i've got a light elastic in there obviously it cushions cushions all them indicate oh sorry it cushions all them small fish eyed and roach and them type of fish that i'm catching you see plenty of it coming out if i hook a big fish i've got that enjoyment plenty of elastic stretching i've got my puller kit to to sort of help me land any fish i do hook that might be a bit bigger and i'm not in any rush to land them in a match i'd probably want heavier gear on for them big fish get the fish in quick at the minute all i want to do is just hook something come back put it back in the lake and go out and catch the next one now bait wise like i said i've only brought maggots few choices for what you're going to fish at the minute red and a white maggot double maggot on the hook seems to be working perfectly if the fishing gets a bit harder or as it gets colder and change that down to a single maggot even things like pinkies and you'll keep getting bites right through the winter right through the coldest weather and at the end of the day that's why we're all going out fishing get a few bites catch a few fish so just keep doing what i'm doing for a little bit but i'm already thinking i might have a little go shallow soon we'll see what happens but maybe i'll catch some of them bigger eyed shallow as well the fish that i want to come up off the bottom and compete and again that's the beauty of this type of approach you've got the option to catch them on the bottom that was a nice little bite you've got the option to catch them shallow the fish will naturally be where they want to be it makes all your decisions really easy if i'm missing lots of bites even if the fish maybe starts swirling I can pick my shallow rig up if i'm catching on the bottom like i am now i can stick with it and i'm gonna get a really nice really enjoyable days fishing that i'd looked a bit better i think to be honest maybe I had a bit of trouble off a bird but loads and loads of these fish in here i'm actually quite surprised it's still sort of fairly mild we're not really into winter yet getting that way thought they might have been swirling and on the surface really quickly which they're not but we can catch them on the bottom like this like i said we can catch them shallow never going to ruin our peg and don't know what you're going to hook next so fingers crossed at some point we might get a little surprise and catch something a bit bigger
like I expected to happen, with the unseasonably mild weather and loads of space on the lake, no one else really here yet, I'm getting a great day's fishing, loads and loads of bites, but the fish have come shallow. So, dead easy still, just loose feeding maggots like I was before. Not really doing anything different, I don't need to because the fish have naturally wanted to come further up in the water. I've just picked my other rig up, which again, just a few spread out shot. I'd set much shallower, probably 10 inch, between 10 inches and 12 inches deep. And I'm now getting bites shallow, and there we go, there's one straight away. I've even had a few slightly better hide doing this, up to maybe a pound. So again, it's just keeping up with having a really, really nice day's fishing. And just sort of the ideal pleasure fishing session, really. Nothing difficult, nothing hard, and loads and loads of bites. See there, that's just a smaller one. But every time I catch one, if I look into the mouth, they're absolutely full of maggots. Now, one thing I do like to do when I'm fishing shallow, and it, it's especially helpful for people who maybe aren't quite so good at sort of catapult and bait and working the rig at the same time, is just to loose feed a few maggots before I ship out. And then hopefully, when I ship out and drop my rig in, I'm already in sort of a fed area and I might just get a nice quick bite. Just fire a few maggots in, still just sort of 15 or 20. Straight back out and just drop my maggot hook bait in amongst where I've just fed. Hopefully I might get a bite nice and quick. If not, I can feed again. But like we were saying earlier, it's just such a nice way of fishing your peg. Oh, oh I missed that one. Such a nice way of fishing your peg because it's almost doing everything for you. You just feed a few maggots and the fish will settle where they want to settle. You can tell by that strung out rig. Oh, and that was a lovely bite. I don't know if you've seen that on camera. It actually pulled the elastic straight out from my pole. That's something else you get a lot of with shallow fishing. And especially so when you feed before you ship out something, you can drop your rig in and your elastic will just get pulled straight out. And that's another nice hide. Unfortunately, no carp, no F1s or anything like that today, but there's loads and loads of them in here. And on another day, I might have caught a few of them as well, probably more likely on the bottom. But who can't say it's a great day catching fish like that every single put in. So I'll just go out, do exactly the same again, see if I can catch another one. And then obviously, as you're fishing, it can always slow down. If I stop catching, doing what I'm doing now, if I've always got the option to just pick my other rig up, keep doing exactly what I am fish back on the bottom and keep putting fish in the net keep enjoying my day and keep doing what it's all about catching loads and loads of fish so again 15 20 maggots back in that same area as accurate as i can get them and then i've got to flick that rig back in front of them i think i actually seen one swirl then so hopefully i might get a nice quick bite Oh, and there we go, straight away. Just like I said last time, if you feed before you ship out, there's always a chance you're going to drop it back in, catch one straight away, which is exactly what happened then. Another hide again. Again, not the biggest hide of the day, but a lovely fish all the same. So, grab yourself a pint or two of maggots, a couple of nice, light, strung out rigs, you can have a lovely day if you go to the right venue, catching loads and loads of fish without doing anything too complicated. What better way to spend your day than putting a load of fish in the net? So, I'll slip that one back. I'm gonna go and pack my gear away, but brilliant days fishing. Get yourself out on the bank, get some maggots, get some light rigs, and go and catch some fish. Mm -hmm.